Ella, you get that side. Look, no one can see it. Yeah, literally, like we're in a we're in a we're serious Power Rangers right now. There's people coming down the street. Oh, there's people coming. Don't say that. She's fine. She's fine. Turn away. She's like out of breath. She's like breathing heavy. Okay. We so fast. We did it. I'm so proud of you. That's that's good. You nailed it. Oh, you got me. I can I can. Oh, I'm Bitch, don't run from me. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you clicked on this video, you're obviously here for the Alphalete try on haul, or you're just here to see me try on leggings because you're a fucking weirdo. Today I will be trying on all of the new Alphalete items that are launching this Saturday the 27th. <sighs> Girl, I'm excited. If you're new to my channel, I am an athlete with Alphalete, so I do have a link and that helps me out a little bit, so I very much appreciate it if you use my link when you're shopping. If this video helps you out, you know, I always have my link down in my description box on my YouTube videos. Plus, I always have it in my Instagram bio and in my little link tree thing. <sighs> we have a lot of things happening for this launch. We have seven new colors that are coming out in the Revival leggings. The Revival leggings have been updated. They are now called the R6 leggings, which is like the Revival 6, because it took them like six launches to get to these perfect leggings. I'll talk about the leggings in a bit. Oh, my measurements. I don't exactly know them. Last time I checked, I was a 26 around the waist, but I have lost weight since then. So I think I'd probably be around a 25 inch waist now. And my glutes around the biggest part is 38 or 39 inches. Um, around my chest, I don't know. I don't wear a bra. If I did, I'd be like a double A or something. Whatever the smallest bra size is would be what I am. Probably like 32 around maybe or 30 even. And then weight, I don't weigh myself. I haven't weighed myself since I was like 16. But I think I would be around 125, 130 and I am 5'5". So those are all my stats. I'm not gonna do like all the bras first. I'm just gonna go by outfit that I tried everything on. So the very first outfit I tried on is this little gray outfit. This is the charcoal gray. Damn, it is like a very, very dark gray. This shirt is black and then here's the gray beside it just if you want to compare, but it is absolutely beautiful. So this sports bra that I tried on, the vault bra, this one is the extra small. So every other one that I try on is a small, including this one. This one was the extra small. You probably can't tell that much. I honestly can't decide which size I like better. It's not that big of a difference. I do wear the vault bras up very high. Now you are supposed to wear them like this down here. It's just, I don't like covering my whole stomach because the leanest part of my body is like my upper ribs right here. Like that is where I'm the leanest. So I'd rather, you know, not cover that. Plus I also don't like when my sports bra like touches my leggings. So I like to wear my bra like up here, kind of more high neck. And then sometimes I'll even roll it under the bottom just like that. Yeah, I, I determined all of this today while I was at the gym wearing the yellow one. So the extra small is just like a little bit shorter. It is a little bit tighter under the arms. I find all of the fault bras are pretty tight under the arms, but that is also because I wear them like up high. If you pull them down low, like they're supposed to be, it's really not that bad under the arms. It does feel a little tight here, but I like it. I find it very comfortable. I don't find it pinches anywhere. I like the back, the back, the back. I love the back. It's this nice like open back. It has like this little cross at the top of the neck. Back is all open. Wow, really big fan of these vault bras. And then I tried that on with the charcoal gray shorts. 
I will never wear any other shorts besides the Revival shorts, okay? These are the best freaking shorts I've ever put on my body. Like these are just, they're so comfortable. Like this fabric is unreal. I'll talk about it more when I talk about the leggings, with updates from the last leggings, but best fabric in the world. Nice thick waistband that holds you in. Very, very comfortable. I do not get camel toe in these shorts because they have a great little modesty panel in here, which is fantastic. I'll show you the red ones as well because I did try those on next, but here are the beautiful red ones. So they did bring the red back. They launched the red a little while ago and it did really well. So we brought the red back in the leggings and in the shorts. You actually can't beat these shorts. They're the perfect length. Like they're not too short. They're not gonna like ride up on your bum. Like I have never had these shorts right up. I've done F45 in these shorts. Not these new and improved ones yet because it's still not warm enough here, but in the older shorts I did, they're not too long, but they're not too short. They're just like the perfect length and they actually stay in that spot. Like you're not gonna always be like pulling them down because you're worried your butt's gonna fall out. No, no, nothing like that. They stay in place. I also tried on this shirt. Now I am not the biggest fan of wearing shirts to the gym. I just wear my sports bra. That's all I really wear, or I wear like the long sleeve revival to match the leggings. But yeah, this shirt is actually very cute and I don't wear a sports bra with it. I don't wear un anything under it just cause I don't need to. So this, I would also just like wear around the house, wear, I don't know, out. You could freaking dress this shit up. If I put some like little jean shorts on with this shirt with that nice like open back, this could be cute. Like I would go to a patio and sit in this shirt. I'm definitely a really big fan of this nice open back area it just says alphalete across the front super simple very very stretchy very soft fabric the tops are 95 percent cotton and five percent spandex and this shirt comes in black white and the yellow okay and then the next top that i tried on with the red shorts is this alphalete crop so this one is in like the nude color like this isn't the white it's more of the nude tan color or whatever it is this again is the same like look how stretchy this is it's like so stretchy so soft to the touch and i have washed this i washed everything here except for the vault bras because i got those just yesterday but everything else i have washed and you do want to wash all your alphalete stuff inside out i use cold water and then don't tumble dry it hang it to dry so that is you want to wash all your alphalete by the way this top they did make a lot longer so i have the black tops literally just looking at it you can see the differences so this is the new one i like how they filled in all the letters on it it's much longer than this is the old one that was basically like a sports bra in t-shirt version and then it's not filled in so and I do like these new ones better because I don't have to wear a bra under them. My favorite thing ever. Because when I lift my arms, you're not going to like see boobs. Whereas in the last one, if I lifted my arms, you're seeing everything. So I do really, really like these new crop tops because I can just wear them whenever. Like yesterday, I wore the black one with just like joggers. And that's what I wore during the day. And then next, I tried on the yellow. So this yellow is growing on me. When I first saw it, I was like, mm. I don't know about that yellow. Like I prefer like the really soft pastel yellow. And I saw this and I was like, whoa, hello. That is bright as hell, but dude, it is growing on me. I don't know if it's because it's like getting warmer and it's like summertime weather's coming and this is just like summer right in your face. But I am loving this yellow. This also Joey's favorite color is the yellow with the black. He likes my mix match just. I don't know why I told you guys that I just it just came to my head with the yellow I usually like to pair it with black and then like black shoes I think it looks really cool. You wear like black shoes black sports bra and then like the yellow leggings or the yellow shorts Big fan. So I tried that on with the new long sleeve man. Look at that stretch Unreal. They're like stretchy, but also like compression like they'll hold you in I love these tops. I wear a small in these tops Oh, by the way, I wear a small in everything unless I state otherwise Assume it's a small if I don't tell you what size it is. These are great because they're not too tight on my chest or anything. Like I feel like if you have like a boob job or like big boobs, this would be no problem for you. Even if you got like a smaller and extra small because it's so stretchy. I again, don't wear a bra with this. I just wear it to the gym like this. Like I don't have to wear anything under it. It does have thumb holes, which is fabulous. Now the only thing I do notice about the long sleeve tops is it has this same pattern here that the revivals have like on the shins and this pattern stays on my arms after i take it off because the forearm area is very tight 
it's not like unbearably tight where I like don't like it. It's just like it's very form fitting and it does leave these like lines after you take it off, but they like fade. It doesn't really matter. Now sweat proofness in the new Revival fabric. Dude, I sweat a lot on like leg day and stuff. I have not sweat through a single one of these colors. Like even in these shirts, like I'm constantly sweating. Like I'm sweating right now and like you can't see anything. Even if it feels like wet, you can't see the sweat. I don't know what the hell this fabric is, but like even I will wear these long sleeve tops and I have not seen any sweat marks in any of them yet. I'm shook because all other tight seamless long sleeve tops that I've ever tried, I will always get sweat marks and then it just like makes me not want to wear it. None of these colors I have seen sweat marks under my arms. It is like actually shocking and I just felt like I really needed to share that with you guys because that is a big selling point for me because I have not found a long sleeve seamless top that doesn't show sweat marks. So again, I tried that on with the shorts. Now I did do a squat test in the blue and the yellow because those are like the lightest colors everything is very squat proof. And I will explain to you why everything is very squat proof now, even this bright ass yellow. So the reason all of these freaking leggings are now squat proof is because we have updated the Revival leggings. So as I said, they are now the R6s. That's what they're called now. I tried on these purple noir, I think they're called leggings, which is like the darker purple. And I will compare it with the lighter purple. All of the changes that we have made to the revivals. They might look exactly the same, but I think you guys will notice too, once you take them out of the bag, they feel so much softer and so much more dense. Now this is because they doubled the amount of yarn within the same amount of square footage. They doubled the amount of yarn in these leggings. So they are so much more sturdy, durable. They're so freaking soft. Along with doubling the freaking yarn, they also added two washes to the leggings, which makes them a lot softer to the touch. They're so smooth, like buttery, soft so stretchy, so comfortable, but also they just feel like a little bit thicker, more dense, more solid, just like an overall better quality. Like they feel more expensive, more like high quality. Not that they weren't high quality before, but like I didn't even know they could make them this much better. I did notice that the waistband does feel like thicker to the touch, but I prefer it. They did also make the waistband a tiny bit more roomy, so it's not gonna like dig into you. So it is just a little bit thicker and then a tiny, tiny, bit more roomy so i notice with the blue and the yellow because they're the most stretchy fabrics because they're the lightest color that i do have a little bit of room around the waist like it's not as like squishy it's like i do have a little bit of breathing room it's like the tiniest amount of room like i would not size down i have tried these blue cayman blue ones in extra small and it's just like so tight on my legs <sighs> yeah and like really tight on my stomach that like it makes my back fat kind of roll a little bit so I would not suggest sizing down. I would still completely stay with your normal size. Now, along with doubling the yarn in these bad boys, they also added freaking thicker fabric to the butt area. So that is why they're all very squat proof. You don't get any sheerness in these because dude, they added extra fabric to the butt area. Why has no one thought of this before? This is so smart. Yeah, so that's fantastic. The butt area, it's not, like touching it, I can't feel the difference, but when you're wearing them, it's just, it adds more sh protection of sheerness to the bum area. And then the camel toe, they have expanded the modesty panel so it is longer, it takes up more space, and then added length to the front inseam. None of these give me camel toe. I don't get camel toe in any of these leggings. I did also notice, I feel like the waistband goes up a little bit higher. I don't know if that's just because like, I don't know, I like lost weight, and then the smalls, I can just pull them up higher. I don't really know. I also don't know if I like yank mine up too high. I don't know, but I pull mine up really high and I just feel like these ones come up a little bit higher. Like all these R6 leggings and the shorts and everything. It just feels like a little bit, teeny little bit higher. Like I can pull it a bit higher. Does that make sense? And I will say the leggings do not go all the way to my ankles, but I also like hike them up everywhere. And I actually prefer them to not go to my ankles. So I like kind of like purposely pull them up a little bit. Like I like when a little bit of ankle is showing. I think that looks cool. I don't know why. I just like, I like that look. So I, I actually prefer them like that. I don't like when they go all the way to the floor. 
yeah so i will say that and i'm only 5'5 five five and they don't really go all the way to my ankles now the only thing i will mention that's kind of a downside but has to be done is the leggings are now 58 dollars instead of 54 but that's just a cover they doubled the fabric and they only added a couple dollars so i think that's completely fair but they are 58 dollars instead of 54 just thought I would mention that. With these purple pants, I tried on this purple top so you could just see everything together. So I freaking love this purple. It is like a very nice dark purple. So if you're really tired of like just dark gray, like black colors, but you still want something dark, like this is your go-to because it's fantastic. Like I love this. And I also really love wearing like the dark purple with the light purple. So I will show you a comparison because I did try them on together. So here's the dark legging with the lighter purple one. This is the vault bra in the purple that I tried on. So I tried this one on in the small. And then this one still has the padding, but I like to take the padding out. Like in this blue one right now, I have the padding out. Because I wear it so much higher, the padding would end up ending like here. And it just looks weird because you can like see the edge of the padding like going in the middle of my boob and it just looks weird. So I prefer to take all the padding out of these sports bras. It is very like thick padding. Like it's very good quality padding. But yeah, I take mine out. This one I did leave in though. So I still have the padding in there. And then I put on the new tie top over top of that can't get this knot undone because i tied it really really tight so i can't untie it but <laughs> the front of the shirt does hang down low and then you can tie it you'll see it in the try on part but then it just says alphalete down the back and <sighs> look how thin these straps are now yeah, do you guys remember at my last athlete try on haul when I tried on these tie tops? I was like, wow, these straps are like way too thick. They, the straps like stuck out to here. I looked like a weird little boy. The straps are now thin. Christian, listen to your girl. So the straps are now extremely thin. It looks so much better. I love this top. Now I did try it on with the vault bra, but I personally don't wear a bra under it. Like I wore the black one to the gym the other day. I actually have the black one on in my last full day of eating video if you want to like see me wearing the black one. But um, I think you will see a little bit of nip through this if you don't wear a bra under it. But I just, I don't wear one. So I don't mind a little bit of nip poking through, you know? And I do tie mine very high up, but you don't have to tie it that high. You can make it like as low as you want, but I like to tie mine like basically right under my boobs. And then I tried on the black long sleeve with the Cayman Blue legging so again i did do a squat test in these came in blue ones and you can't see anything because it has that nice extra butt coverage so the blue is my absolute favorite the came in blue i don't know if you guys can tell because i freaking like wear it in every post actually i think the blue and the yellow were my favorites which is shocking because I didn't like the yellow at all first and now it's actually my favorite like these two oh my god i'm obsessed they are my favorites and then i tried them on with the black i was going to try on the black leggings as well but i don't know where mine are i think they're in the wash or something i would say all the r6 leggings and shorts all fit the same besides the blue and the yellow being a tiny bit more stretchy and like feeling like they have a little bit more room i feel like you guys won't won't even notice it's just i'm just trying to share everything okay so i did create some notes in my little notes app when i was at the gym like wearing all the items i like took notes about specific ones i wanted to mention okay talked about that already talked about that talked about sweat proofness oh okay i really like talked about all this already except for in the yellow i have noticed i can see some underwear lines in the front like you can see the front of my underwear like nothing in the back but like you can see the front of it because if i wear underwear that's too big it like rolls a little bit so i did notice that you can sometimes see the underwear lines depending on which underwear you wear now during this try on haul i did wear the alphalete seamless underwear in size small so i don't know if you could really see anything i don't think you could but so that is the only thing i will mention about the yellow that is the only color i've noticed it happening in before i think it's just because it's so such a light color but again you can't actually see the underwear you just see like the lines where it's like crinkled if that makes sense is that everything why did i feel like this would take longer email me if you have any questions i will really try to get back to you before the launch but I can't promise anything. Also, watch the Alphalete try and haul because they have a bunch of different girls of different sizes trying on the items. So if I'm not your size, go check out that video. I think that's everything. Bye guys, I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.
Hi, I'm back. I forgot to mention that I also wear the men's stuff. So, <laughs> where did I put my pants? I don't know. I don't have the pants with me right here, but I tried on the pants, those um, like plum marl ones, or I don't know, mauve marl? I don't know. I don't know what color they are. But I tried on those men's joggers. Amazing. The new Origin joggers. Big, big fan. I wear a size small in the men's. The waist is the only thing that's too big, but I just tighten it and tie the thing and we're fine. And then I also am obsessed with this green. Holy. So this fabric is like the same as the like women's t-shirts and everything. This is the men's long sleeve size small. So I just like throw this on whenever. It is very long and I find the forearms are very tight. And Joey also has one of these long sleeves in a large in the black. And he also said it's super, super long and tight on the forearms. So if any guys are watching this, um, caution if you have giant forearms, because even on me with these little twigs, the size small was still tight on my forearms. So I don't know what that's about, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I just like throw this on whenever and it's comfy as hell. I love this green color. Now the men's also have some really sick barcode items coming out, which are so freaking cool. And I'm kind of salty, you know, the women's stuff has a barcode, but yeah, the barcode shirts are really, really sick. So uh, definitely check those out, dudes. Yeah, okay, now that is everything I had to say. Okay, and bye guys.